What's up guys, it's Dangers coming at you. I just wanted to uh, do like an impression video for uh, Sonic Lost World. I've really been looking forward to the new Sonic game. I'm an enormous Sonic the Hedgehog fan. You can see it in my shirt. You can even see the hat back there. I got that stupid fucking Sonic Colors hat somewhere around here. Uh, but I, I had to say, uh, damn, uh, damn. Really, what I had to say is, Nintendo, fuck me, you got me. You got me. You got me. You, you fucked me. You fucked me good. I gotta get a Wii U now. I gotta get a Wii U at some point. That, that's, that's, I mean, I had to get a Wii U at some point to get my Smash on at some point anyway. But now I gotta get a Wii U to get my fucking exclusive Sonic. So you got me, Nintendo. I'll buy the fucking shitty, underpowered piece of shit box that I really was kind of hold off. I, I wanted to hold off buying as long as possible, but you got me. You got me real good, Nintendo. You got me real good. Because this Sonic Lost World... It's looking pretty good. I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I have actually a, a very good uh, gaming rig PC. Uh, GTX uh, 670, 2GB, uh, i7-980X, uh, overclocked at uh, 4.0 GHz, uh, 12 gigs of RAM. So I run uh, Sonic Generations... Uh, at extremely high resolutions, 3200 by 1800, 3600 by 2025, uh, shit like that. And uh, visually, nothing about Sonic Lost World in impresses me. Not, nothing uh, from a technical standpoint doesn't impress me. But from a uh, from an aesthetic point of view, the art style, the simplistic art style, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm actually feeling that art style pretty good. I'm feeling that art style. Uh, it's very, very clean looking. I've seen resolution screenshots. I assume they're probably uh, 720p. Um, but it, it looks really clean. But it is definitely a technical downgrade from Generations. But this probably isn't even a bad thing for most people because a lot of people claim that uh, Sonic Generations was way too busy uh, visually. A lot of shit going on in the background. I'm not one of those people. Personally, I don't really give a shit. Uh, Sonic Generations, uh, the backgrounds were gorgeous. There was a lot of detail going on. That that reminded me of the old uh, of the old games. Actually, if you play the old games, you'll notice in the background there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of detail that you really don't even pay attention to because you're playing a Sonic game. First of all, you're playing a Sonic game, you're going fast, you're moving fast. That's Sonic. So uh, that's Sonic. Speedy platforming. Speedy platform, not just speed. Not just platforming, because there's a fucking reason I like Sonic and I hate Mario. Speedy platforming. But I gotta say, I really like what I saw. A lot of new... It seems like there's gonna be a lot of emphasis on parkour. That's kinda cool. Seems like uh, you'll be able to uh, control Sonic a lot better in this game. That's one complaint that I do have with uh, games uh, Sonic Unleashed forward. Hell, even go back to Sonic 2006, you're really gonna control the motherfucker. But, uh... Sonic uh, Unleashed and Sonic Generations, one of the biggest complaints with those games that I actually agree with is that uh, Sonic is extremely hard to control. Uh, and let me just adjust this real quick. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Sonic is extremely hard to control um, in, in like low speed situations. Like, you can, like, really, you can only, there's just stop and go. Stop and go. There's not really much between top speed and normal walking speed. He controls very awkwardly. Anyone who's played those games knows what, uh, knows what I'm talking about. It's not made for small, precise movements. It's made for twitch action, twitch speed, stuff like that. So um, with, the imp with the multiple modes, using the triggers, um, that sounds like that's going to make it a lot easier. Gonna have basically, you hold down one trigger, so basically it's like, okay, Sonic normally walks, and then if you want him to, uh, I guess, run, you hold down one trigger, you want to put him in a ball, which I guess is this game's equivalent of the boost, you hold down both triggers. So uh, that that's going to uh, give lend a lot to the gameplay. I assume there's probably going to be multiple routes, a lot of, with more emphasis on exploration, which uh, the newer Sonic games, I honestly think they are getting better at that. But it, it is very debatable that uh, that is something that is that has been lost from the uh, classic titles. Different pathways, exploration, 
Uh, there's different paths in side generations, but it's, it is pretty linear. It's like, okay, you choose to go that way or that way or that way. And it's really all about, did you choose the path quick enough? Like, it was pretty much just like, did you, did you know that you can go this way? Okay, you knew you can go that way. You twitch over there, you do the little sidestep thing, you get over there. So, uh, I think it's pretty promising. Uh, I guess a lot of people have complained about uh, the new villains or whatever the fuck they look like. I've heard comparisons to uh, the Space Jam aliens, which actually is a pretty good explanation. Is actually a pretty good, uh, a pretty good uh, metaphor for what they look like. They do kind of look rhyme as Space Jam aliens, but I'm not hating on them that much. I mean, I, I, I don't really give a shit. But uh, it's a new Sonic game. It's a new mainline Sonic title. I'm hyped. I want to play it. So. Uh, yeah, that's my impression of the game. Uh, Sonic uh, Lost World, Wii U exclusive. Look out for it. Definitely gonna be looking out for it uh, this E3. Uh, that's uh, that's my opinion on it. Uh, Dangers, sign out. Bye.